Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.14. Now I know this is 1.13 here, but I can't put this 1.14 video right here until it's recorded and uploaded. So when you come to this page, it'll say 1.14 and we'll be good to go. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it. But first, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on. Whether you're looking to play on 1.14, whether you're looking to play any mod pack you want, you can all do it with Apex. Apex has one-click installation of over 50 mod packs and you you can set up your 114 server with just a few clicks there as well. We trust Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want to start a Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the place to do it. You can check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First and foremost, you need to go to this link. This is going to be the second link down below, and it's going to take you to our how to download and install shaders in Minecraft. Basically, I'm going to walk you through here in this video everything that's outlined in this tutorial, but if I go a little fast or something like that, this tutorial will walk you through it. When you're here, you want to click on Download Cylinder Shaders. Now, there are a ton of different shaders packs out here. I just prefer to use Cylinder Shaders because I like the way it looks. You might like other shaders packs. We actually have a video on the top five shaders packs that you can check out at the I at the top of your screen. It's also linked in the description down below. If you want to go in there and check that out, it'll show you awesome shaders packs, including this one in game and really get things rocking and rolling. So go check that out if you're looking for other shaders packs, but we're going to be installing cylinder shaders in this video. It's also kept very up to date. As you can see, it's already up to date to 114, which is a plus for us. When you're here, you then want to scroll down until you find these download links here at the bottom. So vibrant shaders, basic shaders, there's all sorts of ones. I like the vibrant shaders. That's what we're going to be using here. So basically what we want to do is find whichever one for our PC and it kind of, you know, walks them through here. Now, as you can see, the medium is recommended for recording or older PCs. Guess what I'm doing? Recording right now. So we're going to go with that one by clicking this mirror link right next to it. See that little mirror link? Click on that and then it will take us off to here where we want to wait six seconds before we click anything. This is just a simple ad focus link, but don't click anything on your page. And then right up here on the top right, okay, click nothing on your page. If it says the download's ready, it's not. Wait, click skip ad in the top right after six seconds. Once you click skip ad, it will then take us off to Mediafire, I believe, where we'll then be able to get things rocking and rolling. As you can see, it says it's not going to work. If it doesn't work in a certain amount of time, click that link. We click that link and here we are on Mediafire. So once you're here, you then want to click the green download button and then we can close out of the pop-up that it popped up right here. Finally, it'll be download in the bottom left. We can see it downloaded Silders Vibrant Shaders. That's good to go. You might have to keep that file. As long as it says Silders Vibrant Shaders, you are good to go. Otherwise, don't keep the file. It should be Silders Vibrant Shaders or whatever shaders pack you're downloading. It should have their name in the zip file. So once that's done, we're not done downloading, right? You still need to download Optifine. Optifine is how all Minecraft shaders packs are ran. So it's very important that you get it installed and you use it for any shaders packs. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So how do you do that? Well, what you want to do is go to the description down below. There'll be a download Optifine link and you click on that and it takes you here. Once you're here, you want to scroll down. And again, this is an in-depth tutorial on how to do it. If I go too fast installing Optifine, this article will help you go through it at your own pace. But once you're here, you want to click on download Optifine here. It will then go ahead and take us off to this page where you might be like, I don't see Minecraft 114. Nick, are you lying to me? No, I am not. Now, if you do see Minecraft 1.14 here in bold letters, it could even be down here or whatever. But if you see 114, 114, 1, 114, 1.14.2, 1.14.22, whatever it says, if you see that here, you want to come down to the most recent version under that and click on mirror. However, if you're watching this video within the first week or two after it came out, you want to click on preview versions. Then you'll see Optifine 114. See that? So if you're watching this video the day it came out, you want to click on preview versions and then 114 will be there. Then you want to come over next to the Optifine 114 and download it by clicking the mirror link right here. Once you click on the mirror link, it will take us to this download page where you should have download Optifine 114 somewhere on the page in blue text. It might be at the top, it might be at the bottom, it might be smashed in between these two ads. But wherever it's at, you want to find download Optifine 114 too. Right there it is. Click on that and it will download Optifine in the bottom left of our screen. Now, you're going to have to keep this file, but that's okay. As long as it has Optifine in it, which are does and it ends in .jar, you are 100% safe to keep this file. On Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of the screen and again, as long as it says Optifine and ends in .jar, you can go ahead and click save on that file. Now finally, if we minimize our browser, we are going to have on our desktop Silder Shaders, right? Silder's Vibrant Shaders and Optifine. If these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Click the little Windows icon in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon there and then type in downloads, right like so. 
you'll then have a downloads file folder right here. Click on that and then here you'll find Cylinder Shader and Optifine. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once they're on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Optifine. You want to right click on it, then click on Open With, and then select Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary or it just doesn't work, no worries. We have a solution for you. Go to the description of this video and you want to start off by downloading Java here. This is actually the Java SE Development Kit, which is needed to not only run Optifine, but run Minecraft mods, run a Minecraft server, all that stuff. If, other than playing Minecraft, you need the development kit and you can come here and go to this tutorial to see exactly how to get it. After that, if you still can't open the JAR file, if you still can't open Optifine, you need to run the JAR fix, which can be found linked in the description down below and uh, this walks you through exactly how to get it up and running basically just download our program and run it so pretty quick and easy there now we go ahead and minimize our browser here on our desktop we have optifine and filter shaders we're going to right click on optifine click on open with and then click on java tm platform sc binary it'll then open up the optifine installer here where you can click install and as long as you've played minecraft 1.14 in the past you'll get this message optifine is successfully installed if you haven't played minecraft 1.14 in the past just go play it real quick Open up the main menu and then come back and install Optifine just like we did. Now we can go ahead and click OK. At this point, we need to open up Minecraft, so let's go ahead and do that. We can open up the Minecraft launcher here. And now before you go and slam that play button, wait, hold up, we need to hit the little green arrow next to the play button, and then you should have an Optifine profile. If you do, click on that and click play. If you don't, no worries. Click on these three lines up here in the top right. Click on launch options, and then click on add new. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Com. Why is that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have incredible player economy, grief protected survival, the best around. Over 100 players every single day on our survival server, plus over 100 players on our custom Skyblock server. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. Fully joined off of 114. Come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, next to version here, we're going to go ahead and select that. And then you should have released 114 Optifine. Right here it is, as you can see, 114 Optifine. Click on that, and then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that. I'm just doing it real quick. So once you get in game, you'll be able to see. Then we can go ahead and click save here. Come back over to the news tab. Again, click that little green arrow next to the play button and then select play.breakdowncraft.com or whatever you named your profile. Then it should say 1.14-optifine under the play button and click play. Now, you might be like, all of that to install shaders? Yes, all of that to install shaders. Optifine is how shaders are ran, so you need to install Optifine to get shaders to work. Once Optifine is open here, and once Minecraft is open specifically with Optifine in it, installing shaders is actually a pretty easy thing to do. All you need to do is click on Options here, and then click on Video Settings, right? From there, you should be able to click on the Shaders button. However, you might not be able to, okay? If you have over here Fast Math on, and you click on Shaders, it'll say, please set the performance fast render to off. Okay, click done, come over to performance, and turn off fast render, and then click done, and then you can open up shaders. Now, Optifine actually does have its own shaders built in. That's called internal. You can click on that if you want to, to kind of give shaders a try if you don't want to install pack. However, if you do want to install shaders pack, you can click on shaders folder down here in the bottom left of Minecraft. When you click on that, it will open up the Shaders Packs folder here, where you just want to take the Shaders Pack you downloaded, which is Silder's Vibrant Shaders, and drag that into the Shaders Packs folder. Now, if we come back in game, it automatically appeared for me, but if it doesn't for you, click Done, and then click on Shaders. Then, to select your Shaders Pack, just click on it in game. Minecraft will reload, right like so, and once it does, it'll have Shaders installed. Now, there are tons of options for Shaders Packs some of which are over here on the right hand side for example if you want like more quality of your shadows and things like that you can up it lower it do all sorts of stuff but most of the shaders options are actually down here in the shaders options button in the bottom right of minecraft click on that and then you can see all of the different shaders options people like to change all sorts of stuff and like their shaders to have like swaying grass some people hate swaying grass all of that can be changed right here for example waving objects we can come in here and turn waving grass on and off. You can also come in here and change other things like water. As you can see right here, hold on, we go into waving options. You can turn water waving on. Then you can go into shadows. You can turn shadows on and off. What resolution are your shadows? Do you want them to look good, bad? As far as like, you know, I mean, they're both gonna look good, but what quality do you want? 
Shady, you can change it. You can change so much stuff in here, and I always want to mention it in these tutorials because a lot of people are like, my grass isn't swaying. Well, you just need to go into Waving Objects and turn it on. But nevertheless, once you've selected your shaders pack, we can click Done there, click Done again, and we're just going to go into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, and show off this beautiful shaders pack in 114. Again, come play with us here on Breakdowncraft, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have incredible greed protected survival, player economy, all of that stuff. Now you might be like, um, Houston, we have a problem. Um, it seems like it's nighttime, everything is, is dark, it's blacked out, what is what is happening? Well, honestly, the first thing I wanna do is make sure I'm on top of the world, which I am, right? I wanna make sure that I'm as high as I can go. Then after that, we can see that that was water there. So let's go ahead and fly and we're gonna troubleshoot. Now you might be like, are shaders always this difficult? No, most of the time shaders are just gonna work. You're not gonna have to worry about it. However, because shaders just came out, you are. So we can go into options here, we can go into video settings and we can click on shaders. And you can actually edit this stuff in real time. And you can see over here, it actually leaves this out so we can see what's going on in the background. So the first thing I'm gonna suspect is that there's a lighting issue. So we can go to sky and lighting and then we can turn, let's see here. So I actually played around here for a long time and nothing really worked. However, you can see I did get it working in the background. How did I do that? Well, I ended up going back out and moving to Optifine settings itself. So one of the things that, that I changed here is I went into the details, I believe. Yes, I believe it was details. Let's see, I'm trying to find it. I, I was clicking around in a lot of different options until finally I found the one that worked. And basically the sky was turned off. That was what the issue was. So I believe it's going to be in details here. And was it sky and moon was on? It was something to do with that. And I just went through and kind of stars. That's what it was. Stars were off. I turned those on and now it is working. So as you can see in the background here, it is all working. If we go to spawn, we'll be able to see how beautiful all of this is. There are clouds issues though. That's been known for a while. And if you want to turn off clouds, you can go into view, details, and then you can turn clouds to off. And now suddenly those cloud issues are, um, they're, they're gone there. But yeah, so there is how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.14. Look at that, it's actually really, really cool. Um, just to give you a perspective. So this is what it looks like with shaders on. And then we can go in here and actually turn shaders off to see uh, just the big difference there. So basically that's all it was, is the sky and stars and all that wasn't on. Turn that on and it was fine. But this is what this looks like here. Let's go P time day, just so you can see what it looks like in the daytime as well. That's what it normally looks like in the daytime, not too great. We can actually fly out here and load this in. This is where you're really gonna be able to see it is on this right here. So we can fly out here and see this. And then what we wanna do is come into options, video settings, go into shaders, turn our shaders pack back on. It's gonna load all the way up there, click done. And then now you can see how much different that looks. It looks like a completely different build. So if you have any questions, anything like that, please let me know in the comment section down below. And please do remember some of this stuff, for example, this right here is a little weird, right? That's not supposed to be a, uh, a dark black there. I don't know why it is because, well, it's pretty simple. Optifine is still in beta and very much so beta. So shaders packs are going to have glitches. They're going to have bugs. It's not going to be all pretty and all perfect. But as Optifine updates, as more bugs are fixed, lighting glitches and issues like this will be fixed very, very easily. It actually wouldn't be able to, like, wouldn't surprise me if you could go in here and, like, mess around with the graphics a little bit maybe and, and change some different stuff and get that lighting issue to actually just fix itself. You know, like go into video settings and then change it around with some of the lightings. Maybe you turn dynamic lights off or something and it could fix it. But overall, thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It helped you get shaders. Give it a thumbs up. Even if your shaders pack is a little buggy, unfortunately there's nothing we can do about that other than tell you to mess around with the settings and get everything to try until you find something that does work. But I don't think there is any denying that this is absolutely beautiful. This is a spawn that you can actually see yourself with shaders if you just type in the IP, play.breakdowncraft.com into Minecraft multiplayer and join right on in. I can't wait to see you online like all of these awesome people, over 162 people online right now. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. Nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.